Hey everybody, it's your friend Sarmer here, back with another episode of Kingdoms Reborn. I hope you're having a fantastic and amazing day today. And I'll tell you what I flippin' did again. I recorded a 20 minute video and realized that my software was looking at the wrong monitor again. So, I think I need a new recording software because this, it changes on me. Like, I, I have it set for the correct monitor and then it, like, restart the computer and go over the next day and it's, it's the wrong one. And I even... Well, I, I usually usually check to make sure that uh, the audio and the video works. I always check the audio, but I the video slips in my mind because to me, if I set something, it shouldn't change, but it does. Anyways, that aside, I'll have to bring you up to speed quick on what we worked on uh, in the last episode. Well, not the last episode, but the episode that didn't ever happen. Uh, so you guys have been mentioning a little bit about needing more haulers and laborers. So I've been working on that in our wheat field here we have hauling services all over the place we got most of our farms covered uh, i also put in a couple of granaries because i noticed that they were pretty much ignoring the warehouses i did just see a little wheat there just a second ago and now the cart took it away but i put in granaries because it looked like these were the priority over the farms plus to give that nice buff and we're working on that stuff uh, i also um working on our upgrade tree here we have almost all of the uh where is it it was the forestry we got all the forestry we got all the farming and then we are working on trade relations right now as well uh, and that's because we're doing a lot of auto trades and i'll show you the guys that in just a second as well we got all the books 10 productivity books 10 sustainability books i know we have some reality books that we can get I'll work on that in a little bit our food situation seems to be doing pretty well we're at we're looking so we're at a thousand right now with all of the extra laborers that I've been putting in, which we are now up to 25 laborers. See, we had five before and I updated that to see how much of a difference it makes with these uh, harvesting of the goods here. And it is making a, good, a big difference. So laborers are really important. Five wasn't enough. We put 25 in. So we're working on that stuff. And then if we go to our tech tree, we're trying to get to the enlightenment age, right? We need 16 more houses. And to do that, we need to get our luxury goods figured out that's a big part of this game to upgrade you need the luxury goods so like we'll just take this house for instance we've only got tulips in here we have the production of all this stuff but it's not cutting it they're not, not enough so we do have four or five of the furniture workshops here's one right here and i mean they're working hard they're they're producing it's just not quite enough i'm gonna put this furniture book in there just because we're there uh, I do have two more up over here. This one needs to be upgraded a little bit, so we'll do that real quick. Okay, get that guy working. Uh, it looks like we need more workers up here, so that that might that's part of it. All right, we don't have a lot of workers in all of our spots because we're putting 25 into labor, so that's a lot of workers that we could be using somewhere else, but we really need them to help with the farms. Um, and then I, along those lines to work on our luxury stuff, wine is a luxury item. So I purchased this little spot over here next to uh, next to our farms that is uh, grapes. So we have this nice forest province here that we are primarily going to be focusing on grape production and a little bit of wine production. So you can see here we got tons of grape fields. Uh, these are all 10 by 10s. So I'm trying something with these. These are two people a piece for 10 by 10s. And I wanted to see how much better they work versus like these random sizes that I have. Uh, I think these are going to be better uh, because they're going to be smaller, I think. Let's see, does this say area anywhere on it? Uh, I don't see that right off, right, right quick here. So if if I could see the area, it would be nice because then we could know like this is 100, right? And then this would be whatever that is. I guess I could like count it out, but I, I think this is going to be better. And then we do have a couple things sprinkled around here. We got more farms that are going to be built up here. These are set to wheat. Let's update that to grapevines. And we'll do that again here and again here. And then we have a couple of houses in here. We've got our market, we've got a tavern, library, hunting lodge, warehouse, and then a tailor, brewery, and a winery up here. So I, I want these grapes to be primarily used for wine. And so that's kind of what our, my goal is over here. And we, let's get this uh, stuff built up. Since we have some money, I want to hasten it up a little bit here because I am impatient. We'll get those guys working. Uh, if you notice, my voice is kind of weird today. It's because uh, I was at a concert last night. 
and uh, it's getting pretty tired, especially after talking for 20 minutes and then not recording any of it. So uh, if I sound kind of weird, please forgive me. I'm going to do my best here and I'll try and do a, a decently long video. I'll probably go for 20 minutes again here. That's basically the update on where we, we were uh, as far as the game goes. So we're just kind of hanging out, working, making sure that we got our wood up to speed and we're doing OK with that. Looks like we're about a plus 1000. And we're doing all right with food now. So we'll just keep our eyes peeled with the the farms here. And we'll adjust the labors as we need. We'll probably need to add a couple more and make sure that we have enough food to feed everybody and to try and grow a little bit more. Uh, and then oh, I was going to tell you about the auto traders. So we have the wool, leather, and wheat flour in here now, exports. And then we are, we're inputting some medicine and some breads. And you can see that those are two places that we're really hurting on medicines and then food of course we're trying to keep up with so we're we are at 360 out of 360 but we are losing 1000 monies uh per round so that's kind of a lot uh, we can get the upgrades tree and get uh the trade relations and i have been sprinkling that in every so often so we're at seven out of ten so that's going pretty well and that's just making it cheaper for us we could export something else as well, like that iron ore could be exported uh, and then we could get some more money out of that. But I'm not terribly concerned with our coins right now. It's going pretty well. Uh, we can also expand our territories and get some more influence points. We got to be pushing our border limits here. So from from our initial point, let's see if I can click it here. Oh, you can only go seven out. And I mean, we're we're dang close to seven. I feel like in a lot of these spots. Oh, one way that we haven't looked at really is going south been going north east and west but not really south so maybe that's something that we could do we have the money to do this but let's go ahead and ooh, boreal province i can get that for sure we, get, ooh, we can do some more farmings down here that's more iron yeah we let's step let's work a little bit down here so we have another spot for tulips that we could for sure build with um let's go stain sustainability book and then we're going to go ahead and plop that in our guy over here there we go make the trees a little bit more efficient Oh, and we do have a bridge and it looks like a little road over here. So that was nice that I put that in for at some point here. So we're almost into the Tulip province here. So just like up over in the northeast where we put the the grapes, we could do a tulip focused province. So let's go ahead. I'm going to run this along here and we're going to connect it. So that's all connected now. And then let's go ahead and let's zoom out again. I want the border and then we'll run our border a road down here and here. I wish I could keep this up. And it was approximately right here. I'm not too concerned about it being like right on. We'll go about like so. And then let's, again, let's go with our 10 by 10s and we'll see how that works for uh, the tulips. I think it'll be better. Like I mentioned earlier, uh, did my e-binding not work? Yeah, okay, there we go. I think it'll be better and i think that's how i should do farms from now on is do the 10 by 10s we probably need a lot more farms but i just think it's gonna work better oh that one was too short wasn't it so bx or bf i mean and then we'll do this do another one here and then we'll do another one here and then we also are going to want to do a couple houses in here of course and do a little neighborhood -y village -y thing uh but We'll get that, we'll do that in the north, I think, uh, of this little farm area here. And then I think I'm going to do two of these as, oh, these all can be uh, cabbages. Or I mean, <laughs> these all can be tulips over here. So we'll go nine by nine here and we'll make this one be, uh, let's go cabbages. And the rest of these are going to be tulips. I, I want to try and do like a little self-sufficient area with all of these neighborhoods that we're building with all these neighborhoods that we're building uh, just because it's I feel like it's just better we're not trying to bring goods like 100 million miles away from where everything else is I think that works out pretty well to do it like this um, let's go ahead and we'll build our houses and we'll go two by twos like we have been VH is our hotkey in case you don't know that's how I'm doing that quick, quick like and then of course the, the tulips aren't food, so we're going to need uh, to have a little bit more food coming in as well. Uh, let's get a little bit of a warehouse action over there. And then we I think the, the granary is for food productivity. OK, yeah, so we don't need that. Well, we do. We do need it for our couple of 
uh, farms that we had down here that are going to be producing us food. Well, this one, I guess. Uh, okay, that'll work there. And then let's go ahead and try and find a couple things. We want you. We want our, we're going to want to have... Let's, let's do a pig ranch over here. I'll do a, a charcoal burner. Uh, we want a hunting lodge as well. And so let's get these things set up first. The pig ranch, let's kind of go in betwixt here. And we'll just kind of use this as our ranching area. We'll do like that. And then let's go productivity book. And how much money do I got? Eh, I was thinking about quick building all this. Uh, let's, well, let's do this first. We got a hunting lodge. Uh, that one almost covers everything over here. But let's go like right in here. Our hunting lodge. Food gatherer. If, eh, if we're going to put uh, ranches in here, I'm not going to do a fruit gather. I'm going to cancel that one. Let's grab our hauling services. I'm going to try and put this one kind of in a shared space. I'll put that right there. If we want a warehouse, let's put the warehouse right next door. Our gold burner as well. And then our productivity book. So we'll let this go. And then let's go up to our furniture workshop. Productivity in there. And then we can turn our trees back on. There we go. So we can see what's happening. So that'll be nice. Once that gets all built up over there, we'll get some more uh, tulips happening and some more luxury goods coming in. That's my main focus right there is to get some more luxury goods. Just like our winery up over here. Now let's just take a peek at how this is developing. It should be doing pretty okay. Uh, I think I'm going to do a couple more houses in here. We'll do two more. And then we will be uh, the same as our new little space down over where we just built. But let's quick build a lot of this stuff. Make sure that we can manage all that. And then let's get these farms rolling as well. Get some more great buy in action. And then our winery is going to take a lot more coins to get up. So we'll just hold off for now. Uh, this is going to be leather clothing for this tailor because we're hunting around here. And that's what I'm kind of thinking about. Uh, and then we could get this province as well. Let's do that. And then if we zoom in, I could build a forester over here as well. Let's just grab these cards that are popping up. These are all good ones. And then let's go four. And then, yeah, this will work pretty good, like, here-ish. This will work pretty good, like, about here. And then we'll go like that. Oh, I didn't know if these were not connected. So let's connect those guys and run it up like so. Okay, that'd be great. And then this area has its own source of wood. And we should be good to go with that stuff. Let's quick build that. All right. Yeah, so there we go. This is working out pretty darn well. And we got this little area over here going. And oh, so this was iron right here. We do have a lot of iron ore. I did mention that. Uh, we, so we probably don't want to do another mine and use up more people to mine more iron that we don't really need. Like at 2,800 almost. But we could use iron smelters, but we don't need many more iron mines. So we're going to hold off on that. Um, and I have been putting in a couple more quarries every so often. So now we're at about 800 stone and I'm trying to upgrade the houses to have stone insulation. You can see a lot of these are already you already have that covered. Uh, so I just got to try and find one that doesn't and then I can uh, shift click it and then have more of our stone insulation happening. So I just got to find a newer house. There's one. Hold shift. There are 43 more houses got the stone insulation. Uh, so hopefully that's pretty much all of our houses, except for the, of course, the new ones that we just built over here that aren't quite in yet. So we'll have to upgrade those once they get there. And that should be our, let's see, house adjacency, trade relations is 8 out of 10. Let's do one more. And then I did notice 22 out of 30. So our steps that we're taking are yielding results, which is very nice. And we are over a thousand food late summer. So that means fall is pretty close and uh, we, we seem to be doing pretty great with food. So yeah, it was that labor thing. Make sure that you're putting in laborers. I know that it, it it kind of feels bad to have laborers because you want the people to be assigned a job, but try and like get that out of your mind. And like what I had to do is like labor is a job, so don't exclude it. And just because it doesn't have a, its own building, like it's it's important to have. So don't don't neglect it like I did. And this too, speed boost. Don't neglect that. I always forget about it. Uh, v is the hotkey for that. So if you're just going along, take a quick peek down there. Hit V. There you go. Quick build or not quick build. A speed boost to all those guys. Those are all going to be doing great. Let's just double check our wood over here. We're doing 2,000 wood. That's awesome. We could use a couple more uh, medicinal herbs, it looks like. So the area, where was it? That was over here, I think. Yeah, we could do a little bit 
of medicinal herbs kind of in this space. We do have our forester here, and if we do that, it's going to take away from that forester. Uh, but I think that's okay for a little bit, at least. Let's go ahead and we'll grab our... Does this... This doesn't hurt the houses? Oh, okay. That's good. We'll do a... Let's do a... We'll do a 12 by 8. So you can see there the area is 96, so that's slightly less than our 10 by 10s. We'll get that guy going right there. And then let's... Well, let's do another one right next door, since it doesn't hurt the house value. Put another one and then these are going to be medicinal herbs and then this little area is covered with that as well uh we got our beer brewery here taylor we we'll probably want a couple more houses so let's go a house over here and the house over here and a house over here and then let's put those all right great and then oh we can uh, upgrade them there we go sweet okay so now we're looking at 717 out of 746 population we're we're doing great. We have tons of people coming in. Uh, our food's doing really well. And let's see, medicinal herbs is doing all right now, especially with that other little group of farms we just put in. It looks like our iron tools are just about slipping and our stone tools are kind of supplementary, but they're not the greatest. So we're gonna want to put in another blacksmith. Uh, I'm gonna grab another trading company too, since those are nice to have. And then let's go with the blacksmith. And we're gonna do iron tools and I think we'll have to put this somewhere close by we'll just kind of put it in here this is where we've been building our stuff uh, we're getting the combo levels so let's go ahead and you need iron bars huh okay let's go smelter as well uh, and then we'll do an iron smelter right across the road and I can't quick build those are very expensive so let's leave that like that for now uh, let's get another winery and we'll put the winery over here we do have one that's to be built but it's not quite here yet obviously so we'll put another winery in there and then those guys are working there and then we can we'll do some hauling services over here as well it looks like i don't have those let's just double check quick got a tailor got our hunting lodge yeah no hauling services so i'm gonna go ahead and grab those guys here and then and then we'll have those guys who work for this little space and then we'll be good to go and since our industrial things are all right here we'll make sure that those are included quick build that guy and then our trading company, we can plop that down kind of over here where we have the other ones. It doesn't really matter where the trading companies are. So long as you're just, you know, <laughs> accessible for workers is really the main thing that matters. Uh, and of course, you have the size space to put them in. But well, there we go, put it right there. And then get our auto trades going. I'll probably do a little bit more importing of... Well, I was going to say food, but... I don't know their tools are getting in trouble here so hopefully that the, these blacksmiths don't take long to get built or this at least this one blacksmith because we need it pretty badly here and we'll get some more iron bars coming in get some more iron tools coming in and then these guys will be all good to go so because we don't have any builders dedicated uh it, once it's winter time all the farmers become builders so this thing is gonna definitely get its growth during the winter time which just which seems kind of weird but that's how this game turns out because all of our workers on the fields come off the fields and then they become laborers or builders and uh yeah oh so let's check our tech tree real quick we need nine more houses yeah this is now we need 10 more houses not quite there but it's getting better so i'm hopeful for that we'll we'll have that happening here pretty quickly this these guys are doing great we get some grapevines coming in how's this granary looking 139 good 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 all right so yeah this this is developing well we got our two up a little production area happening and uh, i think that's going to be it for this episode Thanks for coming and hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you on the next episode of Kingdoms Reborn. Have a fantastic, amazing rest of your evening, day, or night.